So we met at a Halloween party many, many, many years ago where Dylan was dressed as like, do you know Jolly the Green Giant? Like, I no. think he's the fan. I was a wood elf. Thank you so much for uh, doing this interview with me. I mean, you're in London right now. What's your favorite part of being in London? Ooh. The Guinness and pub culture is my favorite. It's just the best. And I have a lot of friends here, so that's my personal favorite. And Warhammer, of course, Warhammer 40K is the best, so. I liked the Heinz baked beans. <laughs> beans for breakfast. I love that about England. <laughs> Beans any time of the day, you mean? Like, you can put beans on That's anything. right. I love that about England. I love how everything's a pudding. Have you noticed that? Everything's a pudding, like, yeah. Pudding has, like, no real, like, hard definition here. Like, it can, it's awesome. So, Beautiful Disaster. I mean, a book turned into a movie. What made you guys want to be a part of turning this book into a movie? Well, I wasn't familiar with the book beforehand. So, actually, when I read the script and then auditioned for the project. It was untitled Roger Cummel Project. Roger's our director. So I didn't know until after I got the job that it was a book that was being turned into a movie. But what attracted me about the script personally was that it was so much more than a romance. There's so much action involved. It's really sexy. It's really funny. And I was certainly not expecting it to be as funny as it is. So all of those things together were what attracted me to the project. Abby, my name is Abby. Travis, Travis Maddox. Does that move really work? No, not a single time. But it is sincere. You're not my type. I'm everybody's type. When I read it, I just, the words just blasted off the page. They were like, it was a very electric script. Um, and I also saw it as a, a challenge to myself physically, which I was interested in doing. It was a lot of training and it was, uh, it was pretty tough in that regard, but it's something that I was a little uncomfortable with and I'd never done before. So I, I thought that I would, I would rise to the challenge and give it a try. You look like you did a great job. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. saying, like I had a lot a of job. help. It takes a village, I'll say that. How long do you train for? Well, we had about four months lead time to train. So I did a, a lighter version of the training out in LA. And then when we got to Bulgaria, um, I trained for two hours uh, of boxing and two hours of bodybuilding every day. So it was four hours in total daily uh, for about a month. And that was pretty intense, as you can imagine. Yeah, that's awesome. I love boxing. So I'm, I imagine it could have been fun also. Also talk about preparing. Your on-screen chemistry just comes through the screens. It really does. Did you guys do anything to prepare for that? Did that come naturally for you or? Well, what was so funny is that we've actually known each other for a long time. So we met at a Halloween party many, many, many years ago where Dylan was dressed as like, do you know Jolly the Green Giant? Like, I no, think he's the fan. I was a wood elf. No, you were like the face of corn, like Jolly the Green Giant. <laughs> face of corn. <laughs> I was the spokesperson for corn everywhere. I'm pretty sure. Ah. Uh, but yeah. we met at this Halloween party. He witnessed me do my first and only keg stand. Uh, and kind of from then on, we, we didn't see each other for a long time and we reunited on this and we became fast friends. And there's a lot of trust and professionalism between the two of us that just makes it easy and makes that chemistry feel organic. Yeah, we have a lot of, uh, we have similar taste in humor, I'll say. So that always makes it easier too, if you can joke around. Were there any like funny moments in any of those heated scenes where you're just like, no, this is not happening right now. Maybe bursting out laughing or something like that. I mean, in the heated scenes, not necessarily because we had a really wonderful intimacy coordinator named Corinne Evans, and she uh, like was helping us guide uh, through the process of all of that. And that I think is just like a wonderful step in the industry that's been, happened in kind of the last fifteen years. Um, but the movie's pretty comical, and our director's a funny guy, so there's plenty of improv moments, um, and we. Definitely, I think I can speak for the two of us, but we felt like we were given enough space to be as funny mm -hmm. as we needed to be inside of a scene. And Dylan, mm -hmm. uh, I actually just recently watched an interview with Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler for their new Murder Mystery 2. And they were like, you know, Dylan and Cole are 30 years old now and they were completely floored. They were like, oh my God. So, I mean, you've been, you've been acting for 30 years um, since you were a baby. Who's been your favorite, I guess, big actor in Hollywood to work with so far? And any Besides moment. Virginia Gardner. <laughs> Besides, yeah, you weren't on the list. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> look, I, I've been super blessed in my career as to work with um, 
a lot of actors and I've never had a bad encounter with like any one of them, truly. And I mean that, and that's rare because I'm mm -hmm. um, sure some people would just say that, but I really haven't. But I also think just, uh, just as much as some of the big actors, I would say I've had um, equally wonderful experiences with actors who maybe don't get as much recognition and are consummate professionals and show up on time and are funny as heck. But I mean, if I had to mention, Adam is a gem. And he, uh, I saw him in Paris, which I think he mentioned in that interview. And it was still after all this time, he knew me by my face as opposed to my brother. That's cool. And he could recognize the difference between it. He's got, I think he's got like the most interesting brain when it comes to that, because I've never seen him, no matter how small an interaction, forget somebody's name. That's incredible. Which is just a major talent. So yeah, yeah he's high up there. Well, congratulations on the movie again, and thank you so much for the interview. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more content just like this.